Hey, what's up everyone? Gaming Mom 82 here. And on today's video, we're going to be going over the new operator coming to Rainbow Six Siege, Flores. And also be making what I call BS cookies. So, uh, to start things off, what is, we all know Flores. I mean, the videos have been out for a while, but what are BS cookies? Well, in our house, we do this little thing where, for fun, we decide to just gather what we have in the house and make cookies based off of that. And we can't use a recipe. We have to go strictly off of memory. So sometimes the cookies turn out good, sometimes they don't. So on that note, let's get started. Okay, so Flores, um, on, uh, this is flour by the way. I'm just gonna throw in two cups because I'm pretty sure something like this usually happens with cookies. So we're gonna go with that. Flores is a two speed, two armor operator. Try not to talk when I put the bag in because, or put this in the bag because I imagine the audio is not going to be the greatest on that. So Flores was born October 2nd. He hails from Argentina and he's unaffiliated. So he's not with the FBI. He's not with the GIGN. He's, he's just in his own little thing. And um, yeah, so he has a gadget called the RCE Rotato. Rotato? Rotato? I think it's Rotato. I translated it through Google. I don't even know how to say this thing. Rotato. Ratero. And actually it means pickpocket in, in Spanish. We didn't know that. Fun fact. So anyways, he has four of these and they're basically drones that are, are C4 drones. You know, you just drive them in and when you drive them, you go to where you want to and they get rid of a bunch of gadgets. So the biggest thing they're saying about Flores and why they created him is they wanted to get the whole 20 second meta dealt with and he was supposed to help with that. If you don't know what the 20 second meta is, it's on the attacker side, you go in, but you have so much time that you're trying to find the objective, get rid of utility, get into the actual building itself. By the time anything really of substance happens, it's in the last 20 seconds, which we all know is not very much time. So he's supposed to help with that. Well, I don't know. We're still going to see about that one. I don't know if I, uh, Think he will or won't. All right, so I put two cups in. Now let's get some sugar. I got my handy dandy white sugar. I'm gonna start with a cup of that because why not? I think I also want to put brown sugar in. Whoops. So I will be posting this recipe, but um, I don't know how good it's gonna be. You won't know to the end. And for everybody who was really upset with me last time with my cooking one that I didn't show the end result. I apologize and I'll make sure that you guys get to see the finished product of these cookies. Okay, so based off memory, I know I usually put eggs in cookies, but I don't have eggs. Well, I don't have chicken eggs. We happen to um, raise quail, so I have quail eggs. So I'm gonna chuck them in since I don't have chicken eggs. Here's a quail egg, by the way. The little tiny cute little things. Ooh. They're delicious, by the way really delicious. So what I was saying, for anybody who doesn't have quail eggs, about four of these little puppies is the equivalent of one chicken egg. So I'm going to put in enough to be two chicken eggs. And I have to use a little cigar, cigar -y thingy to cut them because you can't crack them traditionally like you would a chicken egg. Bloop. Okay, so I got my quail eggs all cracked here. And again, the equivalent to chicken eggs. So Plop that in there. Whoop. Pretty sure baking powder goes in cookies, so let's do that now. Just go with a whole teaspoon. Can't be that bad, right? All right, now back to Flores, since I can just get lost with this whole cooking thing. He has the AR-33, and he also has the SR-25 for his guns, and then I believe he is going to have a claymore and stun grenades. Back to his gadget. I'm just gonna call it the RCE because, hmm, that whole, Rotato, I think. Anyways, it's really awkward for me to say. So he gets four of his uh, lovely little armored drones and they are armored the whole time. While you're driving them, they can be taken out just like any other drone. They can jump, unlike, you know, cause that's one thing I was concerned about with uh, when I first heard about him with these drones, because I know for me personally, I wish a Twitch drone jumped. I don't know why it doesn't, but it doesn't. So. Uh, yeah, it jumps. Not only jumps, it 
locks onto the surface that when you press the gadget. So you go to drive it, it can be shot, but once you press the activate button, it will lock down, be bulletproof, and it will lock on its surface. So if you jump it into a wall, for instance, and lock it, it will explode and it will attach to the wall, which, hey, that's pretty neat. And he has four of these little puppies. The thing to mention is the damage radius. So right now it's three meters. They did nerf him, it used to be four, and the lethal range is now 1.5 and it was two. So that's where we're sitting. And basically in a nutshell, it, it took 50% out of the radius of his damage, which, you know, that's what the test servers are for. They felt that that was needed. So there we go. All right, now back to these cookies. So I have a dear friend coming over tonight. So I was thinking she loves cinnamon buns and all of that stuff. So I'm gonna go for the whole cinnamon cookie here because unfortunately I did have a follower who really wanted me to give him ch chocolate chip cookies, but I'm thinking I'm actually gonna get a proper chocolate chip cook recipe for you because this one could turn out really bad. So let's leave this one to the BS. So next I'm gonna add some vanilla and I have a lovely darling in my life who gifted this to me and she makes this. Actually, you can check her out on Facebook, The Hut and Morganson, where she does all this fun jazz. She makes it from scratch, it's a beautiful thing. So this is homemade vanilla. So I'm gonna go put two tablespoons in, why not? And again, because I'm going for the whole cinnamon spice thing I have, what do I have here? I have pumpkin pie spice, and I have ground cinnamon. I can't get it open. I didn't even break a nail. All right, let's do, let's do a tablespoon of cinnamon. I might be really obsessive. Wait, I don't even have a tablespoon, uh oh. We're doing half a tablespoon of cinnamon because, well, that's all I have. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of pumpkin. Whoop, there we go. And for fun, I'm gonna use molasses if I can get the darn thing open. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of molasses because, hey, why not? I don't, like I said, I really don't know what I'm doing. Come on, you can do it. What the heck, man? Two hours later. Whoop! Oh, it's coming out. Kind of looks like a poop. Kind of goes with the BS part. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I got all this stuff in here. Let me mix her in. So while I'm mixing, we'll get back to Flores. First openly gay operator, and I actually have a cute little spiel on uh, Ubisoft. I'll, I'll, I'll post a link in the description where it's actually gridlock going out how her and Dokubi have been hanging out with uh, Flores and that she thinks it's really cute that he calls his husband every night and even when he removes his wedding ring for when you're obviously going to whatever he's gonna do you know that whole battle thing probably get caught on something that he always keeps it on him he always keeps it on his person so I thought that was really cute so what I'm realizing in mixing all of this is that I need some kind of liquid so I'm gonna grab some milk. I think I'm gonna do a cup of milk for anybody who doesn't, you know, doesn't live in Canada. Our milk comes in these bags, so. All right, a cup of milk. I'm gonna take a cup and I'm gonna pour it in slowly because I don't wanna put too much liquid in and then I have to add more flour. All right, so I added a half a cup. And we'll mix this in and see what the consistency is after I'm doing that. Okay. So I'm glad I only added half a cup of milk because that was more than enough. That is sloppy. Okay, so I'm gonna add another cup of flour. See what that does for this mixture. It's kind of looking cookie dough-ish. Taste test. Might not look pretty, but it tastes pretty good. Okay, so next. Next, when it comes to the cookies, I grabbed a baking sheet, but I covered it in tin foil because, um, well, I don't like doing dishes. I do the least amount of dishes that I have to, you know? You gotta be efficient. Efficient. Yes, time is money. So I can just take the tin foil off and then my baking sheet can go back in its little home in the kitchen. But in saying that, if you have parchment paper, that works too. I'm just saying I personally always cover it so I don't have to deal with it. I've already preheated my oven to 350. I figured I'll just stick with that and then uh, start a timer when I put them in to try to 
tie them up and see if they're gonna be done or not. But I'm also going to spray my cookie sheets. I feel like I'm making a loaf of bread. All right, I'm gonna roll. These have a much better consistency. So now these ones I can do the fork thing on. So you just make a nice little pattern. You usually see it on my peanut butter cookies, I think. I'm gonna do that to these guys. Sprinkle them with sugar. Now I take a pitcher for you. All right, these final little puppies are ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna put them in. I'm going to time them. And uh, I'll get back to you with the finished product and we'll wrap this thing up. And as promised everybody, I have a finished product. But does it taste good? Hmm. They're okay. They kind of remind me a little bit like an oatmeal, which is odd. Hmm. Can't talk with all the cookie in my mouth. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I made sure I showed you the finished product this time so I don't get in And uh, let me know your thoughts. Do you think Flores is going to change that 20 second meta? I'm personally on the fence. Uh, I want to see how he plays out. But I do think at least Ubisoft is recognizing it. They know it exists and hopefully this is heading in the right direction for that. And until the next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, see you later. Bye. A lot of people have asked about this. This is my Walking Dead house coat. I love it. It's cozy. Oh. It has like zombies crawling up.